This is easily one of the best products I have that I probably can't use too much. Stop playing. Oh man, I love that. I love that. We are sitting here with a product I'm sure you've seen before. These are the Soundcore frames. These are interchangeable sunglasses that have built-in speakers. Now I've actually had these since before the actual release. Want to give a big shout out to the folks over at Soundcore for sending these over. But as we know, these are all my thoughts, 100% no cap. So please believe I'm gonna give it to you raw and direct. These are a pair of shades that when I first heard about them, I was like, ooh, I gotta try them. Then they sent them over and I was like, yo, this is super cool. When the box came in, I really had no idea what it would look like or how they came. But if anybody has seen Soundcore's packaging in the last year or so, you know that they've taken it to another level with the presentation. That's if you care about that type of thing. So in the package that I received, you get the main Soundcore frames box. Then I got two other options of the interchangeable lenses. The lens that I have on now is the Tour Style in their standard size. This kind of reminds me of a pair of frames I used to have years ago. So it's interesting to have a pair of shades like that. I also have the Promenade Style in the standard size. This is a clear frame. So if you wanna have all the functionality without blocking any of the vision, this is the type of style that you would go with. They actually came with this style right here, but this is a small size. Doesn't really fit in my face as well as the standard size does. But I do like the fact that you can change different sizes and styles to kind of get the look and feel that you want for your shades and glasses going forward, especially at this price point. Yes, $200. I gotta mention it because it's not super budget, but if you're in the shades or if you have a couple of different pairs, you know that a real quality premium pair of shades can go for hundreds of dollars. So this isn't the most egregious thing that I've seen. Plus you get the technology that comes inside. Now real quick, I like that these are easily interchangeable. Let me go ahead and show you simply take them off. All the power is in the arms of the frame. So that's what you switch and then you just change the front part here. So we just pull that off, easily comes off. Mm. <laughs> then we just slide them into the next pair. Ah. Perfect, look at that. So let's say you have them on and you're playing music and you take them off. Your music will instantly stop. Check it out. <laughs> Just like that, the music instantly stops. If you put them back on, it should resume playing. Let's try it and see. <laughs> Just so simple, I really love that. Stop playing. Now let's talk about the controls. I have it right now with the default settings. If you double tap on the logo, that will play and pause your music. If you swipe forward, that actually turns it up. Swiping back actually turns it down. You turn it back up. Let's you know when you've got the max volume. Then on the left side, swiping forward will change the song. Swiping back will change it back to the previous song. Also, when you get into the app, you can enable no wake voice commands. You don't need an assistant. You can simply say volume up, volume down, next song, previous song. Now, I actually really like that feature, especially if you're out and about, maybe your phone is tucked into your pocket and you don't wanna pull it out just to simply go to the next song or change the volume. I also do like the fact that it's built in with the touch controls, cause I've noticed on some of them, I had to say it once or twice, maybe it just didn't hear me correctly. Hold up, I don't really care for these. I'm gonna switch it back to the one I had. Ah oh, yeah, that is much better. I like that. Now let's talk about the most important thing. That is the sound. These are not bone conduction headphones. They're actually two speakers on each side that surround your ears and play the music. So you need to keep that in mind and adjust your expectations. Now, when it comes to listening to music, it doesn't give you that same full body sound that you would expect with having headphones plugged right into your ears. You're getting this music that almost feels like it's surrounding you. 
but it is not pumping bass, it's not pumping every detail right into your ears. So right now I actually have it on full blast and I can tell at the highest levels, there are some faint hints of distortion, but overall you do get a pretty interesting listening experience, especially when you listen to like podcasts or music that isn't emphasized on like bass or having, you know, extreme guitars and panning and stuff. So let me pull up a podcast. I was like, yo, that dude looks aggressive. Then I told him, I said, because I said, you got on all black and it's against the all black background. So we don't know what your shoulders are. So for podcasts, I actually think these are amazing, especially when you're just getting voices directly into your head. You're walking around, like say I'm walking the dog, you're just getting voices. And yeah, I think these are a win for podcasts. With music, I do like the sound of the music. I think it actually sounds pretty good. You have to adjust your expectations. Let's make a quick call and see how they hold up. Yo. Yo, what's good with it, fam? How you doing? I'm actually calling you from my shades, fam. What you think it sound like? Man, it sound like, it sound like a regular phone. <laughs> yeah, these are nice and clear. Yeah, these are the sound core frames that they have the speakers built into the actual arms of the shades. So I can change the different shade styles and get different looks and you know, I can listen to music and talk on the phone using them. Wow, that's crazy. Is it like a speaker? Yes, yeah, it's, it's actually Two speakers right next to your ear. You sound super clear. You sound wow. really good. And if I sound good on your end, then these are definitely a win. Yeah, that's big. That's big. Sound call for the win on that. The sound quality on the phone call was pretty good. He said that he could hear me very well and clear. He sounded natural. I could definitely see taking calls on these out on a walk. I'm the type of person that whenever I get on the phone, I get up and walk around anyway. So these would be perfect to just get out on the streets and have all types of phone conversations without having to fumble with my phone or switch Bluetooth earbuds or anything like that. I like that, this is pretty cool. Let's get into the Soundcore app and check out all the functionality. Right here on the top, it actually shows you which frames that you have connected. You do get a battery notification that lets you know what their power is. Then you have the open surround area. Now they say this is to give you a concert-like experience. So it's off right now. Let's turn it on. So at one, it opens it up a little bit. Moving to four. Definitely widens it out. Gives it that reverb effect. Let's go all the way to seven. Oh yeah, they take it to the most, but I'll say stay away from level seven because seven kind of introduces some artifacting. To me, one or two, if you just want to add a little bit of the effect. So then you get your different modes. So right now I have it on the default equalizer, which is the sound core signature. I definitely like the sound core signature better for music. I think the podcast setting for listening to an actual podcast so it'll enhance those voices would be nice. The privacy mode is when you're in those situations, it kind of bumps the sound down and EQs it a little bit better. So it disturbs people around you less. Then you have your controls and this is where you can come and change your controls for tap and swiping. I left it on default, but you can change it to whatever you want. Then your laboratory functions, this enables the voice control. Like I said, you can say resume playing. <laughs> so to wrap it up, why did I say this is probably the best product that I have that I'll never use? Because I wear glasses. That's really why this video took so long. I was planning on getting some contacts for the first time in my thousand years of living and it didn't happen, man. Stuff happens sometimes it doesn't other than that man these are a really great product i would love to see what they continue to come with in the future the only real thing that slows me down is the fact that i wear glasses 
and the price. $200 for the base kit, then you can pick up a pair of the interchangeable frames for about $50. I wanna know what you guys think about the Soundcore frames down below in the comments. Remember, check the description for all relevant links so you can't say that I lied to you about pricing or anything. Look down below in the description. I'm gonna get up out of here. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and never forget to holler at your boy. Let me listen to some more music, man. What's wrong with y'all? I got music coming out of my shades? You must be crazy. Yo. Let's go. Oh. 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 Off.